Hey, how's it going, Nightcast? We are back for more streaming. Um, split H3 takes. How's it going? Vilmas115. Hope you're having a good day. Let's play bishop g2. Just castles. Next move, of course. Okay, he plays g6. I can always play d4, but I'm going to play queen e2 here. Let's go e5. And play f4. d4 is also interesting. I think I'll play d4 because c5. There's knight b5, knight d6. Plays a6. Logical move. Um, I guess I'll just play knight b1 and c3. Why not? Um, knight d2, c5 is c3, knight f3 is coming. Just bishop e3 takes, just cd4. Guess we both castle here. Pretty standard position, I've got two bishops. Um, I guess I'll play rook c1. Takes, I'll take back. How's it going, Pawnstar? Thank you so much for liking the interview. Thank you, much appreciated. Um, uh, okay, let's play b3 to cut off knight c4 here. Okay, so let's see. Um, it goes rook c6. Let's just trade. Play rook c1. It plays rook c8. No actual threats. So I'll play h4. Try to expand. Knight d4 just hangs a rook with check. Plays h6. I can always play h5. I think queen d2 makes sense. Put pressure on the pawn. Try to redevelop my bishop on this diagonal as well. It goes h5. So now um, I should definitely be better here. See, I think I'll play uh, bishop h3. I did play knight g5 and put pressure on the pawn on um, on e6. He plays knight a7. Let's just trade. You can always play g4. Bishop g5 actually looks pretty good. As does queen c3. Um, but I think I'm going to go knight g5 here. Goes knight e7. Let's see, maybe just queen c2. Try to take advantage of the open file. Queen c3 with the idea of bishop c1, bishop a3 is also playable. Um, now if I play bishop c1, he just takes, which is why queen c3 is better. Um, but I still should be doing quite well here. Let's just play a4. Not a fitness check, so sup, Picard, are you still short the market? No, I'm not short the market. I have not been short for quite a while now, actually. Um... And it looks like we're rallying again. I've been long. I have. Um, I also have a uh, call spread in the S and P that expires this Friday. So yeah, definitely not short. That's that's for sure. Um, now speaking of the game, I don't like what I've done to this position. I played Bishop F four maybe and Knight F three. I've really misplayed this though. Let's go Knight F three. Just protect the pawn. Probably I'll take it at some point, or I'll go Bishop F one, Bishop D three. Not crazy about what I've done. Maybe I have bishop d2 to hit the queen as well. Um, bishop f1 is what I want to do. He's going to try to put this knight on c6. Um, how do I do this? Bishop f1 and queen d3. I don't really want to take. I think I'll play bishop d2 to hit the queen. And then maybe bishop b4 or bishop a5, depending on where he goes. Thank you to Orgo Pro for the five months. Uh, thank you so much. Much appreciated, my friend. And it goes queen c6, which I think is a mistake. So now I can play queen c1, and we're going to reach an end game where I'm still going to keep the two bishops, and I will be able to protect these pawns eventually. So I guess I'll play... Um, okay, I need to be a little bit careful here. Because he wants knight 6, knight a5 maybe. So I think I think I'll just bring my king over, and it should be fine, bishop b2. Let's just go king e2. Why not? I can obviously just take at some point. Bishop c3 maybe as well. Okay, it goes king f8. Now, I figure here, um, I'm play king d3. I would like to exchange somehow. So I'm going to play bishop c3, and I think I'm going to take next move. Or go king d3 and... Oh, whoops. Wow, what was that? Okay, let's go... Um, just go king d1. Maybe I'll bring my king in this way, actually. This makes some sense, too. Okay, let's let's try to redevelop the bishop. Although, I realize he's going to go... He's got this bishop before, bishop a5 idea that I completely forgot about. Uh, so I'm going to have to trade. 
Thank you to Flagrant Beetle for the 100 bits. That brutal burn on Yon during the interview. I'm not 100% sure that I know what you're referring to, but um, thank you anyway. How's it going, Toggy7? Okay, let's play B4 here. Oh, wait, I'm way down on the clock. Jeez, I'm just way down on the clock. I gotta move faster. What am I doing? Um, oh, jeez. What am I doing? I just suddenly... I wasn't looking at my time before I know it. I've got no time. Okay, let's... I mean, that's just way too slow. Okay, let's go 95. Just way too slow. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Next, well, one, one second, I've got time. Next second. Yeah, I mean, I was just way too slow that game. Just like... Chilling out and not taking the game seriously enough. Way too slow. Um, anyway, let's go. Why am I not commentating? I will, but I got to beat this guy after that. After that ridiculous game. Um, thank you to Brew at one for the sub. I just, I'm, I'm I definitely going to beat this guy like four in a row. And I'm going to make sure that I get a flag in after that last game. Because he totally did not deserve to win that last game. Let's play D6 on Castles. Um... Oh, the 2645 comment? Yes, there was that. Okay, let's play 96. Um, let's rook d1. Strange. Let's just go king h8 here. The competitiveness. Well, I mean, it, you can lose a game. That doesn't really bother me either way. But I, I don't like it when a guy basically just sits around, does nothing, gets a worse position. And then, and then because I'm too busy talking to chat, I just lose the game on time. Okay, now I have b5, b4. Let's just play b5, b4. Knight c5, knight e4 is coming as well. If I place a3, now I'll go knight c5. It goes knight... Oh, what's that? Okay, knight d4. I'm going to play a5 if I want. I think I will just play a5 here. Okay, he does play b4, which I'm kind of surprised by, because I think I can take and play like knight a4 or knight e4. I'm going to go knight a4, though, and take, so I'll just take back. Thank you, Cotillion, for the eight months. I thought I had knight d5 here. Am I blind? Maybe I'm blind. I don't know. Am I blind? I could be blind. Um... Yeah, he's got this, which I missed, but... Point is, I couldn't play rook c7. I'm still okay here. I've got a piece in a pawn. Erodium versus Artemiev. I, I'm not intending to do commentary. I mean, I can obviously do commentary if everybody really wants it, but um, that's not really my intention at the moment. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Just queen b6. Just queen... Oh, he's got rook b7. What am I doing? That's just ridiculous. What am I doing in this game? Not paying attention. Um, oh no no, I've got, I've got to do something. What am I doing? Okay, just go king g8. Just not paying attention right now. Just got to focus. Not focused at all right now. Um, I d I don't even know what I why I allowed that. That was so stupid. Look up seven. Yeah, this was really stupid of me. Stop looking at the chat and focus on him. Yeah, I mean of course that's the obvious answer, but. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm a little bit just off my rhythm right now. Stop looking at chat. Yeah, I'm, I might. Actually, the problem is I've also got like five other windows open too that I'm looking at at the same time. Okay, well, now he just blunders. It's kind of nice that he just blunders.
Pause that. Rook f8. Let's see. Trades I take. Plays bishop d3. I mean, I'm still objectively slightly worse, but I feel like I've, I should have some way to hold this. Let's start with king f7. First move, just get the king out of these ideas, out of these ideas. b5 doesn't really worry me that much yet. Okay, now I can play knight g4 maybe. I can also just play like queen d6. Okay, now I've got e5, but I'll play knight d7 to cut off this pawn. Queen h8, just h5. No worries. I mean, I don't really want to do this, but I, I don't want to give him a draw, so that's why I'm playing like this. I could have just gone king f8, king f7, king f6 and made a draw, but he's got no time, and he flagged me that last game, so it's it's payback time. It's payback now. Okay, queen e5, now I'll just go king f7 again. Knight d7, now I'm going to start to work him. Place queen h8, knight f6. Okay, now, now it's time to punish him. Let's go knight g4. I think I can just play check and queen d2. King g7, e5, king h6, and queen f2, and that's all she wrote. All right, better, better, better. That makes it for the last game. He got a cheesy flag that he didn't deserve in the first game, so it's good to, it's good to return the favor. It's very nice to return the favor. Let's play e4. Um, unfortunately, this guy is super low rated, which really is not good. He's 29.79, so like I gain... I have to beat him by a 3 to 1 margin just to not lose points, which is ridiculous. Queen h7 check, king h6, and then he's going to lose material. Um, he's still going to lose a bishop or a pawn. Plays knight c6, I can play h4 maybe. Do I want to play h4, h5 or something else? I mean, bishop f4 looks reasonable too. Knight g5, castles. I can play a... I think I want to play a4 here. Idea to play a5. Super low rated, excuse me, excuse me. He is super low rated. He's 2970. That's very low rated. I mean, in all seriousness, 2970 is ridiculously low rated. I'd like to be super low rated. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just being. I'm being honest. He's he's very low rated. Twenty nine seventy nine. I gain. I gain four and lose twelve, which is just annoying. Really annoying, actually. Okay, let's play queen e two. I don't know why I did that. I just give knight b four, but I can play rook d one and just castles. It's about fair. I don't think it's fair. Play rook e one. <laughs> BGH says I love being low rated. Good to see BGH in the chat. Hope he's having a wonderful afternoon wherever in the wide wherever in the wide world he is on this very rainy Thursday afternoon. Also looking at another screen because I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna do something in the markets today before before we close. Um let's just play E4 takes D5. Like my position. Goes bishop c6, so he's trying to take. Can obviously take. <clears throat> I can also just go like king h. All king moves are in play e6. Playable, but I, I don't really like, so I'm just gonna go king h1 sidestep. Now it goes e6. Um, now I obviously I'm gonna take. I can trade everything down. I can also just play knight e4, because now he's got all kinds of issues. Knight f4, just queen e3. Okay, um, can take. Queen b6 is a good move. I actually overlooked it. Can eh, whatever, let's go for it. Let's plop it in on f6. Let's just stick it in. Let's go knight f6. Takes, I get 95, 97. Play 95. Got 97, knight f8. Like, if queen h4, I just take... Okay, queen f5 is logical. I have rook f1 here. Um, it's an interesting question. Do I play rook f1? Rook f1, rook c2, though. Okay, and if I take rook c2, rook d2, I don't see it. 
If queen h3, just king h1. If rook c2, I block rook d2, queen h3, king g1 anyway. So I think I'm fine here. Rook d2 of trades, I just take. Also, thank you to Flagrant Bagel for the 100 bits. I said tomorrow, for example, if I was 2645, I wouldn't keep playing chess. This is correct. If I was 2645 tomorrow, I would just like go jump off the Golden Gate Bridge and never look back. Um, my calculation skills, they are pretty good so far today. Let's play B4 of takes. I just take. Now, this is not trivial to win, I might add. So I'm going to play Queen B2. The point being, I want to keep an eye, but I also want to keep an eye here. And now I figure, um, can't take, let's play, I can play Queen F2. Yeah, I think I'll play Queen F2 here. Uh, thank you once again, Flagrant Bagel, for another 100 bits. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you to Liteki for the uh, for the 11 months as well. What am I playing, dude? Uh, dudes, I don't know. There have been huge scheduling issues between the Grand Chess Tour um, and everything else. Like it's just been a it's been a mess. It really has. Now the point here is after he takes. I, I mean, this looks really good for me. Maybe it's not. I can't take so Queen E3, of course. Play Rook C8 or. Hmm. It's tricky still. Okay, but again, I'm moving way too slow. Let's just go King H2. Now I'm threatening to take, so there's no Queen E3 check with the fork. If he pushes, I just take, so my King supports H3. Okay, I can play Rook E1. I think I'll play Rook C3, though. I did on Queen G4, play Rook H3. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, let's go Rook H3. It plays queen f4, surprising move. Um, now I take this pawn. Let's see. I think rookie one, just d5 is good. Oh, I okay. gave him this stupid move. What am I doing, actually? I don't know what I'm doing this game. And that's all she wrote. Game over. Thank you, Lainard00, for the 13 months as well. Much appreciated. Let's play d5. Play d4. Plays b4. Many moves are playable here. I'm just going to play... Which one? I guess I'll play c5. The knight c6. Just e5. Just takes knight f6. And maybe h6 to stop bishop g5. Just castles. Um, you can go either square. I guess I'll go to e7. Goes bishop a3. I think I'll play rook e8. Idea to take. Play bishop f5 and e4. What is the purpose of life? The purpose or the answer to life is 49. That's the answer. Um, plays rook b1. Okay, he's just begging me. I can't resist. I'll just go e4. Levon is winning. Yeah, I mean, I'm not shocked that Levon is winning. I think it's going to be a close match, but but 42, no. The answer to life is 49. The answer to everything is 49. Some of you will get that. Some of you probably won't get the reference. Okay, so he takes. If I take, what's the point? I don't get it. Wherever he moves the queen, I always have 95. The answer is 69. No, not quite. Oh, am I wrong? Is it 42? Am I losing my mind? Did I just make a, a Freudian slip? Did I just make one of those big Freudian slips on stream? I did. It's 42. I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm insane. I just... I'm insane. What am I thinking? Ah. Yeah, I'm insane. <laughs> losing my mind. Okay, let's play Rook B8. If takes, takes. Knight D4, I have Rook D8. Um, yeah, it is for... For some reason, I think the problem is with 42, I'm thinking of, uh, uh, 
I'm when I when you say 42, I think of Jackie Robinson for some reason. I don't think of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Let's take just what? Oh, he's got Queen B3. Oh my gosh. So Rook D8, he's got Queen B3. So I guess I just take the pawn, play an endgame of a pawn. Should be fine here. Goes Knight F5, no actual threat. I think I can just play Queen E4. Queen D7, I can play Rook D8 or Rook B1. Rook D B1. Plays Knight D6. Okay, so he's trying to keep this interesting. We'll play Queen G6. Whoops, what was that? Okay, it does go queen d5 as I kind of expected. Don't want to play rook d8. Don't want to play knight d7, frankly. I don't want to play knight b4, but I will play it. With queen c5, so I play knight d3. Can't take queen c7. I've misplayed this. Okay. Um, how best to go for the swindle here? I guess rook f8 makes sense. Go queen e4. Multi-twitching with knocking the Levon match. Yeah, I mean, I'm multi-twitching too. I'm, I've got another screen open that I'm looking at stuff in as well. Okay, I think I just go knight e... Oh, he's got queen c6? Oh, I don't believe this. Yeah, he's got... Oh, I should have gone knight e5 because that would have cut the square. So stupid. Here goes knight b5. Okay, I mean, I, I'm going to flag him. He, he he had the cheesy flag in the first game that we played, so I definitely... Oh, I just blundered queen e4. Why did I do this? Shoot. Okay, I've got to flag him. There's no draw here. Thank you, Snedgeman, for the seven months. Knight of five. He's gonna go knight e three. I mean, definitely no draw after the nonsense he pulled in the first game. Okay, so he's still trying hard to hang in. Okay, now it's now we're getting somewhere. Okay, perfect. And now I can just flag him. All right, there we go, next game. Hey, soul sister. No draw, no draw, no draw. Just castle. Plays knight d7, let's just go b4, b5, a4, I guess. Let's just play b5. Let's just take, go knight e5. Thank you to Alfred's 9000 for the sub with Twitch Prime. Okay, I'll just take. This is a free pawn, or is it a poisoned pawn? So you have queen b6, queen b3. Or I can take e4 first. I think I'll just take e4 first. What am I missing? Must be missing something, because queen b6 is just queen b... Just takes, 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 rook a2, I take b6, I'm winning a pawn. 
My singing is low rated. I never claimed to be a professional uh, singer, so yeah. Okay, let's just take the pawn. Okay, he's trying to double, so I can just play rook b1 here. And maybe g4. Um, yeah, I guess I'll play g4 here. Now, the problem with bishop f8 is I go rook b8. Now, king g7, just d5, d6. And this should be winning. And it goes f5, I can just... I can take or I can ignore, I think. I think here I should ignore it. So if takes, I can play d6 or just bishop e5. I can still take, I can still play bishop e5 as well. I think bishop e5 makes sense because now check, bishop e7, d6 is winning. And the point behind me not trading is that now there's no escape square for the king on g6. Okay, so he goes rook a7 trying to bail out. I have rook b7 now if I want it. I can also take now if I want it. Um, but I think... I think now I should take and just play like... Um, just rook d1. And try to run this d-pawn. I can also put the bishop on f4. Now the structure is, is very nice for me. Um, I think I'll play rook b5 here. Bishop f4 is going to be one of my next couple of moves. He plays rook c5, so I'll take... Bishop f4 makes sense. Plays king f6. This is a free pawn, actually, I'll just take. If bishop d6, just h4, and bishop g5 should be winning. I wish you streamed more. I, I, I wish you streamed more. I feel like you're not on very often. I've been very busy playing chess, chess this year. Not much I can do about that personally. That's just the way the cookie has crumbled. Um, but you know, that it, it is what it is. Okay, now, um, still tricky. Okay, let's go king g2. Now, I do have, like, rook c, um, a tough position to play. I'll go bishop f6 here. I'll give him f4 because I can always just take. Also, I cover b2, which is important. We don't care about excuses, just stream every day. Yeah, I mean, if only. If only, my friends, if only. Now, can I play bishop f4? Yes, I think I can, so I'm gonna do it. So he's got, okay, so now d6, of course. Now f3, threat, and checkmate on h1. My life. He can maybe try king h5 here, but I feel like I can take and then run my king over to win the e4 pawn. It just takes. King e3, and this must be winning. Just rook d4. D7 is coming, E4 is hanging, game over. Thank you, Broken Monitors, for the eight months. Keep up the content, Ikaru. Thank you so much. To uh, Broken Monitors. Okay, goes King E6. Obviously, I take. If Rook D6, I take, and the King. Troll. Any stock advice short term? No, I've only got a couple plays on for December. And both are doing very well so far. But no, I don't have a strong feeling. I would say healthcare, though. I like healthcare a lot at the moment. That would be the only thing that I'm a big fan of. Um, I think Google may be going higher as well. It's just castle. Play b6, bishop b7. Takes. Um, okay, just queen d5. There's king e2. Okay, so bishop a6, you trade, go knight e6, knight b4, as I recall. I think just c5 is fine. Okay, so he takes. So I can take with the queen. Looks interesting. Let's just take with the queen and play c4. Looks looks interesting. 
and knight d7, put a rook on c8, knight on f6, maybe b5, b5 has got some b3, but I like b5, let's play b5. The Alfred says, I sold in my NVIDIA and AMD 2020 options, take the money and run. Yeah, I don't know, NVIDIA reports post, and I was looking at them earlier, but I haven't, I haven't really decided whether I'll do anything on them today. Let's play rook c8, let's take... Queen b7, keep pressure. Bishop b4 is a threat as well. Probably knight b6 or knight f6. Have I endorsed any candidate yet? No, I have not, but I have donated to one candidate. I will say that much. Play knight f6, idea knight e4, knight d5 here. Maybe bishop b4 is still an idea. Okay, I play this bishop g5. I can play rook c6. I can also just play h6. Or I can play, actually, let's try to keep the game alive with bishop b4. Hikaru is absolutely in the Yang gang. No, no way. I did not donate to Andrew Yang. Sorry. Please, give me a break. Okay, I can play knight e4 here, maybe. Knight e5, let's go knight e4, put pressure on the bishop, maybe c3. Okay, obviously c3. Idea to take. And play queen b5 or a5 here. Actually, I kind of like knight d2, so I'm going to do it. I can get in like an a5, a form doing really, really well. But yeah, we don't really want to talk politics anyway. Um, have I ever visited Argentina? Yes, I have been in Argentina one time, in Buenos Aires, back before the economy got ruined by Kirchner and all those other people who felt like running up the debt. Anyway, Rook, rook A1 is played. I can still play Queen V5 if I want to. Um, or just A5. A5 looks fine as well. Look at these. these this bishop connects the pawns. These rooks are, 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 um, are not doing great. Hey, Chess Bay in the chat. Please, and no politics. We don't want to talk politics. I tend to agree. Play knight f3. Let's play c4. Play knight c3. Okay, play c5. Um, let's do something weird. Let's play a3. Are chess players more liberal or conservative? They're obviously much more liberal in general. Um, I, that's not even really a question. Play bishop g2. It's d3, of course. It plays queen d7. I guess the idea is bishop h3, so I'll play h3. Yeah, chess players are very liberal, which, I mean, it is what it is, you know, as, as the saying goes. Okay, let's just take and play bishop f4, maybe. Oh, I just gave him knight h5. That was kind of stupid. Then I have to go... Okay, that was a little bit stupid of me, but whatever. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, Turizaga does not actually live in Venezuela anymore. I believe Turizaga lives in uh, Spain, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that Turizaga lives in Spain, but... Um, okay, place b6. I can always take. I can also just castle. Nah, I don't really like my position, but it is what it is. And also take. It is what it is. Let's just play g4. Yeah, Terzaga does not live in... Um, he, he lives in Spain. I'm pretty sure on that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure he does live in Spain. Which, I mean, unfortunately, it says a lot about how things are in, in Venezuela. Because my understanding of the Terzaga situation was that he was... Uh, that he had a very uh, he, he had a very big sponsor. He, some somebody sponsored him. Um, somebody somebody was sponsoring for a lot of money when he was in Venezuela. And the fact that, as by my understanding, he lives in lives in Spain now uh, says a lot about the situation. The flag is not Spain though. That is the flag of Venezuela. Um, okay, so he plays this. I can also play something 
quirky, like F3. And Bishop F3. I don't really love it, though. Um, I don't like G5 either. I don't really like anything here, so what do I do? I guess I'll take and take, maybe. Do something. Five up, five down, five to go. Yeah, I guess. Um, okay, let's take the pawn. Now I can play knight d5 here, which I think I will do. Um, okay, let's just take with a bishop. Now I've got rook g1 coming. Um, do I have dual citizenship? Uh, technically, yes, but my pa my Japanese passport has uh, expired. Now, rook g1 is a huge threat here with queen h6 coming. Okay, goes bishop b7. I really like rook g1 here. Just put pressure on the bishop. So, wait, what? That's bishop e6 and... Checkmate coming. A little bit confused by this. 